Uh, welcome to ME200, uh, which is a thermodynamics. Uh, this is a sophomore uh, class, and uh, it's, re it's a real engineer class you're going to take uh, for your engineer degree. Thermodynamic is a core course of engineer discipline. And every engineer student and science student had to take that. This will lay foundation for your future study, either in engineer discipline or in science discipline. Okay, uh, basically the ME200 thermodynamics is describe the, the very, very basic fundamental for about the process, okay? And uh, the process, how do we define process? How do we judge process? Is it spontaneous process or non-spontaneous process? How do we know the work and the heat be changed between each other? How to make the system working? And what is system efficiency? We'll talk about those. Um, in a thermal uh, dynamics, have many, many applications and uh, ranging from uh, 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 astronomics to bio, uh, biology or microbiology, um, all branches of the science engineer has to using thermodynamics as a foundation. Uh, in the thermodynamics, and it's a very difficult class to study. Concept is so abstract. You have to build up those concept, understand those concept, and use those concept for your engineer problem, science problem. Um, Typical case is there will be three um, laws for thermodynamics. The first law talking about the um, conservation of energy. So then you will be able to use this conservation of energy to calculate how much a system can deliver the work and how much heat will be needed. A uh, particular application will be for see, uh, uh, you know, refrigerated refri cycles, for uh, thermal engine cycles, uh, for the uh, you know for uh, air conditioning cycles as well. Uh, second law will be uh, second law will be the um, uh, entropy uh, uh, about entropy. So basically, uh, this is the uh, second law said is entropy is always increase with the process, and this is uh, you know very useful to use to judge a process a spontaneous process or non-spontaneous process, particularly for those processes not very uh, clearly to judge you know, by the common sense. Uh, the second law is very useful uh, for uh, analyze the engine efficiency, uh, analyze uh, how to improve the engine and what is the uh, maximum efficiency can reach so using the second law. And this class is the first half semester will cover the basic fundamentals, uh, basically zero law, first law and the second law and some, uh, you know, uh, basic application for uh, refrigerated cycles are for those. And then the another half semester will cover more application like a power plants application, uh, vapor steam uh, system, uh, power plants, uh, turbine sized uh, turbine systems, and also for uh, uh, internal combustion engines. Uh, both it can, you know, cover gas engine and uh, diesel engine, and also other power generation, you know, plants or processes as well. That's all about the thermodynamics, and uh, hopefully you enjoy your journey for the thermodynamics and uh, get a good uh, grades for that class.